in this video. We're going to look at problem number three on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at idomath.weebly.com. Number three, we want to multiply these two decimals together. Since you can use a calculator on the T's test, by all means, let's speed this up and let's use the calculator. However, I am going to come back at the end and I'm going to give you a little bonus here and show you how you can do this rather quickly using pencil and paper as well. Just make sure you do 0 0.0321. That zero there to the right of the decimal is very important. The one to the left, not so much. And here's our product, a uh, long decimal rather, but here it is here as well. And now let's round to the nearest thousandth. That's going to be three decimal places, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we want to round the four. Either we're going to round the four up to a five or leave it at a four. To round this digit, we look one spot to the right. We don't look anywhere else. And since this number to the right is a seven, which is a five or higher, we will round this four up to a five. Therefore, our product is going to be 0 0.135 when we round this. Now, as a bonus, what we can do as well is let's take this number here, 41987. And basically what I'm doing there is I'm taking this number here. I have five digits. And you may say, well, we have five digits over here. But for now, I'm just going to ignore those two zeros because those are to the left. They are to the left. There's no other non-zero digits over here. So we can ignore these. And let's just think of this number as 321. Let's multiply these together and then we will come back and we will be extra careful about looking at how many places we have to the right of the decimal. So doing some old school multiplication, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 8 is 8, and yes, we have a 9, a 1, and a 4. We just multiplied 1 times all of these digits. Now let's move along to the 2. I'm going to add a 0 here to get beneath the 2. 2 times 7, 14, put down our 4, carry our 1, 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, put down your 7, carry your 1, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, put down your 9, carry your 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 gives us 3, there's nothing to carry over, and then finally 2 times 4 gives us 8. So now we're done with the 2, let's move on to the 3 now in the 321. So I've added two zeros here to get beneath the three. I've also erased those numbers that I carried over to avoid confusion. So three times seven is 21, put down our one, carry our two. Three times eight is 24, plus two gives us 26. Put down our six, carry our two. Three times nine is 27, plus two gives us 29. Put down our nine, carry our two. Three times one is three, plus two gives us five. And then finally, three times four gives us 12. Now let's add up all of this stuff and then I'll show you how to handle these decimals over here. And notice we have the same digits over here as we have over here. This is actually the exact answer and we're not missing any decimal places here. However, what I want you to notice, even though I ignored the zeros to the left of this stuff because there were no other non-zero digits over here, that's why I could throw them away. Now let's come back and let's count how many digits we have to the right of each decimal. We have one, two, three, four digits to the right of this decimal, and we also have one, two, three, four to the right of this decimal as well, giving us a total of eight. We add those two together, and now we take our decimal, which is here technically, if we did multiply 41,987 times 321, we would get this gargantuan number with a decimal on the right. But let's move it eight places to the left, which corresponds to how many places we had to the right of the decimals up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And check it out. Ironically, yes, it ends up going all the way to the end. That does not always happen here. But as you can see now, by us doing that, we had the exact same answer. But again, make sure you pay extra close attention to what you need to round to if you are asked to round on the T's test. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.